Good morning, uh, everyone. Um, it's Monday morning, the, uh, what is it today? The 11th, Monday the 11th. And um, done, doing a bit of research over the weekend, I could see clearly that um, last week's candle was massive. Looks bigger like that. Um, and um, we had reverse to the downside. Uh, low, high, high, low, high, high. High, low, low, high. Keep singing the song until the low is broken. So when we break big levels of support, we expect to pull back. So um, <clears throat> uh, these candles, these weekly candles, are clear for everyone to see it. And I urge you to uh, have a go at the weekend at uh, studying them. I've done this before. I've created a video about it in the past. Um, so there's no secrets there. Um, you know, I imagine, I haven't done the, the statistics on the monthly, but the monthly is going to be similar as well. So the end of the month, big candle down. You can see what happened the following month. Massive uh, and break of these two support levels and this one here, in fact. So it's broken masses of support levels. And as you can see, the price came back by the looks of it to test that level there. So that's another heads up on uh, potential uh trade opportunities there's another one there massive big old break and what happens the following month i'm not going to go into details about that actual move yet but uh, you can see where resistance broken gets tested as support and uh, it happens numerous times so uh, uh you know another one here massive resistance level monthly level broken um and then look what happens the next uh next month and same here as well uh, massive level uh, broken here this is a reversal candle again and look what happens the next month so uh, certainly something to be um, studied and this is just one chart admittedly it goes back years 6 2016 over here so uh, it's not like you're going to be uh, making hay um, every every single month as it were but worth an in, worth a look so back to the weekly so um, big old move down and then we had a massive, uh, well relatively large gap down uh, over the week weekend, uh, 50 pips in fact it was. Um, so um, it was just a question of uh, when I woke up having a, a quick look to see what was going on here, drawing a few levels on here that were um, mostly drawn uh, yesterday and then observing the um the histogram the rsi histo alerts and just timing the entry accordingly when we're getting down to these levels i've got uh, all my reversal levels on the charts here um h1 reversal high uh, sorry m30 reversal high was that candle there So we'd reversed up on the M30, and uh, and then um, a new M30 uh, candle high would have um, presented a resistance level there. Again, all before, <coughs> excuse me, all before I I started staring at my charts, and then uh, the mo the next critical level in here would have been an H1. Bearing in mind we are taking our lead from the uh, massive move down so it's just a question of uh, sorting out uh, the, the trend analysis on, on this lot here. So there's the H1 level there now. That high there which I'd put in and um, stands to reason if it's going to continue up uh, based on that uh, weekly um, crash to the downside then it's got to get through this uh, H1 high here to confirm to the long side high low lower high lower low low high and sing the song until we break and close above there so that um, became my target in fact 
you know when you get these pushes at this busy time of day we are now literally five past seven so uh, I like to be out of my trade before the change of the hour as you know and you know the hourly is significant and the hourly high needs to be broken through and closed through if it's going to continue up so consequently uh, did it actually close through it I don't know I didn't notice that uh, the close was seven six seven six seven six five and that high was seven six seven seven it didn't I wonder if this one opened open seven six seven no so it's actually failed to break that level that's interesting because that then means we've got to uh, effectively if we're going to continue up according to my rules the next hour candle needs to break and close above this so for the whole hour now they could pull this back mess about and then finally push it up and they don't have to of course they didn't have to do what uh, I had hoped they would do this morning of course it's all the entry is all based on um, at this point lower time frame candlestick analysis and also the histogram analysis very much now the histo analysis once we've got that uh, roadmap set by the lower time frames for example the M30 which broke and closed here high low lower high lower low and the M30 did the did the business at uh, exactly <coughs> 6 a.m. This is the 7 a.m. candle, and now we're creating the 7 to 8 a.m. candle. As you can see, it is actually uh, doing a little bit of uh, pulling back. So um, I could clearly see at 6 a.m. we turned uh, green on the histo. I was happy with that. The M15. <coughs> excuse me was looking uh, extremely bullish of course um, and uh, we'd actually pushed up here with the histo then we'd pulled back for two candles and then we'd actually um, what I call the bust and break or uh, break and close rather break of the high close above it so again just following all the um, relevant rules uh, I ought to drag the trade on the chart shouldn't I so um, that's the actual trade there so um, you know we've done the the uh, 15 minute bust and uh, break and close that's the bust out break and close is the confirmation and uh, then you can just drop down and um, watch what's going on now when we get a candle that breaks a resistance level here this M30 high again what do we expect to happen a pullback so I entered on the pullback into in the pullback entered on a red bar but um, you know this is where you know your analysis this is a five minute chart now the five minute actually busted the 20 level that's massive momentum that is what we are waiting for um, the bust of the 20 it's an arbitrary level I don't know anything about this indicator someone has put together all this uh, stuff it is brilliant I mean if you put the RSI uh, on your charts as well the actual squiggly line and set it to eight you get all the highs and lows but there's no precision there whatsoever with this beautiful little indie you can get actual um, precise numbers so you can see that this one um, closed 2569 always uh, double check it because um, you can get um, conflicting numbers so 2569 after a couple of t looks and then we've got 2870 and we'll do it again 2870 um, on there so that's progressive now if you put the RSI on your charts I didn't intend to do this but I think it's uh, and just the standard levels I mean look at the difference there really apologies I've got uh, a few indicators on here this is my old die hard on this particular template I've not got rid of it but we can get rid of that and then you can see clearly 
how useless, in my opinion, that RSI is. Still doing the same, tracking the pullbacks and things. I, I guess if you only had this to use, then you would become an expert at it. But I love, and I've mentioned this many times before, I love the traffic lights. Green says go, just check it's higher than that one. Thank you very much. Obviously, we've crossed the 70 line, which is uh, the all-important level, according to lots of people on RSA, but I've seen people using 55 and 50 and 59 and God knows what else. And um, it tells you nothing, really, compared to uh, what you can get from this thing. So, um, quick lesson on why I use this, and I'm glad I found it as opposed to this and just not bothered so we'll get rid of that again now so um, there you go guys that's the the trade this was the all-important candle here this was the uh, target uh, and I it will overshoot due to volatility um, you can't you know nothing is certain in this uh, game you just have to do your own analysis and you you do your own chart um, uh, watching screen time and uh, then you make up your own mind. But that was my trade today. You could say, yeah, okay, just a breakout trade, whatever. But uh, precision candlestick analysis, precision uh, tools like this RSI Histo, and uh, you're good to go. And uh, what else was there? Oh, where's my... US CAD, I made a video about that yesterday. I reckon this uh, will potentially go down. Once again, do not follow my recommendations. Do your own chart and analysis. Yesterday I put a video together saying dollar CAD would uh, likely crash down to uh, at least this H4 low again. And then um, potentially <coughs> down to the other levels below it, which is um, this flip area here. And uh, I shall be watching that closely as the day progresses. But that was yesterday's weekend video suggesting that uh, Dollar CAD would collapse, and it has. Uh, and uh, then you've got this morning's trade. I didn't get involved in this, I'm not staying up at night, but uh, you can see where the. Uh, I did do a bit of analysis on it afterwards to see where I would have wanted to get in, and it was about this uh, RSI bust and break level here again. Sorry, this has gone on a bit longer than I expected. High, low, lower high, lower low. We hadn't confirmed to the long side, so we didn't have to wait for a confirmation to the downside. Low, high, high, low, high, high. That was the reversal level there, or in fact, actually, um, there, to be uh, precise, if you were considering going up, because this is the last trend. High, low, lower high, lower low. So we can put a level on there. And if it had closed above there, look how it's tested it to the pip again. This doesn't. This isn't. Um, this isn't magic. It's just chart hours to, that have uh, led me to have the confidence to go for these reversal levels. Uh, it's hit it to the pip. Is that is that? I mean, is that a coincidence or what? We weren't considering going long anyway. But then once we get the trend in place on the lowest time frames high low lower high lower low that would have been the good entry there's the bust there's the break and close it is lower that one and there's the pullback the green one and uh, then drop to the five minute I mean what a lovely entry that was as well drop to the five minute and you have then got your reversal confirmed reversal uh, remember this is the bar we're looking at not the one with the green dotted line that is the actual entry how cool was that entry? And again, there's your RSI. We can zoom in, take the scroll off. Sorry, this had gone on a bit longer than I expected it to. But um, there is the um, entry bar again. We didn't break the 20, but it doesn't really, you know, it's not that much of a matter, concern, because, you know, they've exhausted the buyers. There is no buying power anymore, you know. So um, that's it. We, we get our entries with the best possible um, entries if you follow the rules. And then um, you get the best possible stops if you follow the rules right down to the one minute time frames. 
five minute yes one minute is better okay thanks for watching have a great day